stream, starting the recording. Hey everyone, this is episode 498 of the Utini cast. Hey everyone, this is episode 490. Good, stream is looking good. Uh, it is just me today. Unfortunately, Kitty has been sick, um, so he is not on uh, the stream today. And so everyone wish him well. He's been sick for a few days too. I'll talk about that when we get into our show. Let's see if it'll actually let me post this. Hey, it actually posted it. Holy cow. That's the first time it's actually worked. All right. Uh, let me get... Hang on a sec. We'll actually get going at the top with the show at the top of the hour. I'll vamp a little bit until then. So we are live now. We've got only two... Uh, well, this episode, 498, and then next episode is 499, Then we're going to have the big 500th episode. We've got a couple things that we're uh, lining up for that. Uh, in the meantime, um, even though it's just me, I hope you'll come and join me. Uh, and what we're going to do today is um, we've been sort of holding off. Hey, Kirk Doodle, how's it going? Uh, you've caught. I remember you said you caught up, so it makes sense you'd be here. So nice, to, nice to have you here. So if uh, I don't think I'll, ha because I'm going to be you know dealing with everything else uh, while the show is going on. But right at the end of the show, instead of uh, raiding someone, uh, I'll just take a few minutes out. You know, once I've you know finished the uh, the the true show, and we're what we're going to do is we're going to start giving away some codes because it's been a while since we've given away codes. We have them sort of built up. And we figure on our way to, to 500, since we're getting really close now to the 500th episode, this would be a good time to start giving out codes again. Why not? And so we'll do that at the end of the show. So um, we've got several, you know, multiples of the the good ones. You know, we have the Mandalorian jetpack. We have the Ton, uh, the, the, the pet codes. We have some 450cc codes. We've got... Um, the uh, the other mount, the Opal Voltilla as well. So if you don't have those, uh, if you hang around to the end of the episode, and I'll talk about this at least one more time because I know we just started the stream. But uh, if you hang around, if you're here at the end of the episode, like when I cut it off usually as far as the podcast part goes, and we do the outro, then I'll give out the codes at that point. So um, yeah, it is now four o'clock. Let me have a little sip of something and we will uh, we'll get going on the actual show. Going in five, and I'm gonna clap so that I can see this on the uh, on the um, Audacity file. Hi, and welcome to the Utini Cast. What good's a reward if you ain't around to use it? This is episode 498, being recorded on Wednesday, October uh, 9th, yes, 2024. I'm your host, Chill, and Kitty Kisses is unfortunately sick. He's been sick a few days, so it's just me today. Uh, and so what happened was um, he and I were doing PvP on Saturday, and we did like a little bit, and like right after the first war zone, um, he just said, hey, I'm starting to feel bad. I need to, uh, I need to call that and so we did and and then he, shortly after that he raided me which meant he, would, he was done with his stream completely and he's been sick ever since he didn't do a sunday stream and um he's been feeling bad even today he confirmed so not able to do that either hopefully he feels better send him his you know best wishes and all that good stuff and so hopefully we'll uh you know uh, hopefully i'll be able to pvp with him again pretty soon I did do a couple of other sessions of PvP with them since the last show. Mostly, though, I've been leveling my tank girl cosplay. Uh, having a lot of fun with it, actually. She's now level 70. And uh, we just did Prelude to Shadow of Revan. So today I just did that. I didn't do any PvP because if you do PvP while you're doing these flashpoints, sometimes what happens is the flashpoint will, like, bug out and you end up having to redo the flashpoint. It's really not fun. So... And that's because you know you're in the flashpoint solo. You go to a um, a war zone or an arena. You come back, and normally it's okay. But sometimes, especially with like um, the end bosses on some of these flashpoints, um, they'll be locked off. Like they, you know, how the, the room gets locked off uh, when you're in the fight. Um, and what happens is it stays locked off, and you can't get to the boss to actually finish the fight and finish the flashpoint. So you have to restart it. 
So yeah, so that's not fun. So today instead, I just did uh, Prelude to Shadow of Revan, got her uh, up to 70. I think she's actually 71 now that I think about it. I think we also dinged 71. She has uh, Osun gear, so we're out of the XP gear. That'll just go back to my banking alt and we can, you know, I can use that late at some point later when I want to. And instead, yeah, so we're in Osun gear, really powerful uh, stuff, and we don't have our tactical yet or anything like that, but the gear's a lot better. We have those set bonuses that are, you know, they're not the biggest in the world, but they're decent. And it'll be fun to, to try uh, PvP again. This is like the first time I've really tried the dot spec on either uh, Mercenary or uh, or Commando, which she's a Commando. And uh, yeah, really enjoying it. Um, I did talk about her last time. It's, it, you know, and it, now that we're a little higher, we've got all the dots, we've got some of the procs and some of the, you know, the cross effects and stuff like that. It's really coming pretty well. And uh, yeah, here he talks. Yeah. So Kitty, Kitty's uh, unfortunately still feeling sick. So uh, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, it's mostly been doing uh, leveling tank girl and it's been a lot of fun. Um, now that I've actually really tried this spec, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's still, it's, it's kind of complicated. Like uh, it, it will take a while before I really, you know, get a good feel for like, okay, this is the ability I should be using at this time. If I, you know, if you change targets, then it gets very complicated. If you are doing AOE versus single target, it gets very complicated. Um, there's also a, a pretty good amount of energy management because you can't just like, you can't just turn your brain off and use like a couple of abilities and ex and assume that your energy is going to be okay. You kind of have to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, so it's been, it's, it's, it's a very complicated spec, but it seems to do really good damage. Uh, even, you know, when I was doing some PvP at 60, before Prelude to Shadow Revan, I, I did some PvP the other day, and uh, the damage was pretty good. Like, I was not quite able to keep up with the 75 to 80 or, you know, 75 to 79ers, but uh, uh, pretty close. And I that was before Osun gear as well, so pretty pretty solid and pretty interesting, a lot of fun. And the, the cosplay is a lot of fun too, the whole punk rock look and all that. And I've got a Kavi spar and like punk, you know, sort of warrior of the wasteland look. It's been a lot of fun, so really enjoying that. Um, I, so probably we'll be doing PvP on her tomorrow. Now that we're done with Prelude to Shadow Revan, we'll just be doing Rishi and do PvP unless Kitty's feeling better and, and wants to do some PvP, and then we'll you know I'll switch over to that character instead. Uh, anyway, that'll bring us to the tip of the week. Uh, we just have a quick, uh, more of an email than a tip. That's okay, though, from DL Smooth Wolf. And he says, greetings, Routine Cast. Uh, tip of the week is to make a, you can make a Brindosh, Brind, brindok ish is I don't know how you're going to pronounce that. brindok ish uh, Jedi Academy or Temple on Yavin 4, because it's the closest we'll get to Brindok because of the uh, forest waterfalls. Can't remember if Brindok had waterfalls. I'll rewatch the Acolyte again and the lush vegetation. Uh, and I'm now th level 37 as of last month on September 20th. I think he means in real life. I'll definitely come up with a Halloween and or autumn tip in the next few weeks. So anyway, thanks for writing in DL. And if you have a tip of the week, send it to utinicast at gmail.com for the next show for a chance to win a Tonfon, M8 uh, 3R droid or M2B9 droid, uh, and a 450cc code, all courtesy of Broadsword. And also for the people who are listening live, do hang around. Uh, so when I do the outro, instead of like, we usually do a raid, and we'll probably do that afterwards, but um, between the outro, when I turn, you know, my audacity off and, and so on, um, what we'll do is uh, we'll give away some codes because we've been building up some codes. We haven't given out some in a while. And so we've got, you know, we've got Voltilla codes and Mandalorian jetpack codes, as well as 450 CC codes and other kind of codes. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sure everyone gets something good. Uh, and we'll do that this, this episode. And I kind of kept this on, I knew I was going to do this, but I was going to, I kept it kind of quiet because it's like, I wanted, you know, one episode for just people who are here all the time. But we are going to be doing it next episode and uh, almost certainly on the episode 500 as well. So if you are interested in the jetpack or the Opal Voltilla or just, you know, CCs, <laughs> we actually, I think we have some 30-day uh, codes as well. So if you have been wanting to be um, resubscribed as well, uh, we should have some of those. We'll just, we'll try to, we'll take care of that at the end though. 
So instead, we're going to move on to the mind trap. And we asked how far, and we usually do this uh, every galactic season about a little ways through and kind of see how people are doing. How far through galactic season seven are you? And so in this case, um, I personally was just past the 50 mark. So I, f I just cut it into four pieces, zero to 25, 26 to 50, 51 to 75, and 76 to 100. I'm not hundred percent sure that people could actually get to 700. They might have been able to get to 76 if um, if they were really assiduous about getting all the dailies and also seven of seven on weeklies, I think you could probably be there. But you can also jump ahead by using cartel coins. So, you know, there's always the, the chance that people do that as well. Uh, so my my option was 51 to 75. And that was um, as the time of this of the uh, poll, that was on my main servers where I do a little bit more. But actually on every, and I've talked about this before, I actually do uh, I do galactic seasons on every server and I am uh, I, at that point I was almost level 50 on every server except for the, the the two North American servers where I do a little bit more I either do I'm doing PvP on Starforge and I do guild stuff with uh, with the guild on um, Satil Sean and in, so in both cases where I was already over level 50 there so that's just what I can't I counted it myself. So we got 315 votes, pretty good amount. Uh, so thank you for uh, reposting that and so on and voting and all that good stuff. Nice. Kirkadoodles, 51 to 75 on all servers. I am now, but at the time of the serve of the uh, poll, I was not. I was in the mid 40s on the uh, like the European servers. And uh, uh, zero to 25 did win. Kind of makes sense. I, I think we know now that uh, enough people, um, you know, uh, just aren't subscribed or play occasionally or whatever so they're still not very far along which is fair 51.54 percent of the of them did that second place however uh, wasn't 26 to 50 it was actually 51 to 75 so that was actually they actually 21.9 uh, percent of the of the vote were there and then just behind that at 20 percent was 26 to 50 with a small number 76 to 100 at 6.7 percent so there you go um, yeah, and um, uh, some, thank you so everyone who responded. Appreciate that. Let's see. Um, we're keeping it pretty simple today. <laughs> and oh, Darth is eighty four on Starforge. Nice, nice. And um, let's see. So we'll get to the Hollow Feed. We have the October twenty twenty four in game events. Uh, that came out um, just a little bit after the last episode. So. Then when this happens, we usually we often miss one, and we did this time. So the Rakula resurgence on Corellia did happen uh, August uh, October first through the seventh. I actually did uh, some of this with the guild. That was a lot of fun. Actually, I, I I've, I've managed to hit most of the recent Jar Jar Joy rides on the guild. We do those on Friday evenings, and um, we're doing some. Uh, when there's an event like the Rat Ghouls, we're tending to do that sort of thing. We've also got, because this is season, season seven, there's the light and dark side uh, bosses um, all throughout the galaxy. We've been hitting some of those. Um, but sometimes we'll just go and we'll do like, you know, world bosses and, um, and uh, or work on a particular uh, fight or two. Like we've been working on, uh, we've been doing like the first one in, in Dread Fortress. Fortress? Yes. First one in Dread Fortress and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, it's been a lot of fun. And we did do the uh, Rat Ghoul uh, boss. Uh, actually, both of them. We did the, the one that happens out in the in the tunnels and then the actual one. Uh, we actually did it twice. We did it on two different difficulty levels. So that was... And that went really well. So it was all good. Um, yeah. And so that one is... But that one is now done. The... Um, uh, Feast of Prosperity just started, and this is this is going to go through November fifth, so it's a almost a month. So you have, uh, I guess, is that five weeks actually, or is that? Uh, I think that must be five weeks because you know four weeks would be like usually a little less than that. Um, yeah, so that should be five weeks worth. Anyway, it goes through November fifth, and uh, the Feast of Prosperity, uh, you need to be level twenty, but that's pretty easy to get. 
And basically, so the idea is the Hutt cartel's reputation has taken a hit over the years. And so Gaburga and Duba are trying to cooperate and um, bring the cartel back to the upper echelons of the galactic underworld, etc., etc. So there's um, a lot of re rewards, just like there are for all the seasonal ones. And uh, there's a lot of new ones as well. There's a, like a new armor set that's really kind of fun looking um, and a bunch of uh, decos and all sorts of stuff. So that is now ongoing. And uh, just as a random drops, you'll sometimes get Feast of Prosperity tokens. So you can actually get some tokens just by playing the game that way. Um, but you'll, if, you, if you're looking to like get a, something specific, you'll probably want to do some of the dailies. And that's a lot of, uh, that can be a lot of fun too. And uh, let's see, the other one is, is there just one more? Yes, yeah, just Relics of the Gree will be coming. And that's going to come October 15th through the 21st. So that's a couple almost two weeks out now or actually it's basically a week out and then you know it goes to till until two weeks out and that's uh that's always fun too we usually if we're uh not every time but usually when we do the jar jar joy ride uh, our guild will end up doing the Gree boss as well uh or and sometimes the, some of the outside ones too but especially the um the, the one on the inside and that one's a lot of fun too all right um they did put out a little uh, article about the Feast of Prosperity. Uh, as we know, it, it is now out. October 8th is when it started. And let's see. The new um, the new stuff is includes the Feast Thermal Guard outfit. And I actually like, like there was a, a sort of, a, you know, cookish uh, outfit before. Um, it was a little busy. This one's a little, ni I, I consider it a little nicer looking. I like it a little bit more. Um, so I'm, I think that's really nice. It'd be fun to also like you could p potentially do, you know, cosplays or, or whatever, um, you know, or little themed things. Like if you wanted to throw a little party and then you wanted your, your character to be the cook, you know, there you go. Uh, there's a new regal grill bar decoration, uh, chandelier vessel decoration, which is really nice. They're, they actually had to put a... a a little video of it because it actually has like this really cool motion in motion sort of swirling effect in it that's really nice i really like that one uh there's a uh, regal banquet table re, re, uh, table regal table chair regal grill bar stool i think all all the ones from this year basically are regal it's just a sort of because uh, some of them have similar similar names uh, grill bar stool uh, regal banquet rug floral arrangement wall garden sconce uh, double sconce, an aqualish banquet guest decoration, a bith banquet des de guest decoration, uh, ishitib ba banquet guest decoration, snivian banquet guest decoration. So some really interesting um, uh, alien species out there, which is really cool. And then some of the stuff from previous years uh, that you still might want are out there. There's the hollow toys, the older armor set, uh, there are some uh, other decos, the transport skiffs, uh, which are always fun, feast attire and feast preparation hat uh, and mount. There's the hairless mudhorn, which is a really cute uh, pet, and the earthen thurb mini pet. And there's also feel the groove and toast emotes, and you can only get those emotes during this event. So there's some, if you like to collect emotes, this is the time to get those. And there's also food launcher and overstuffed backpack toys as well. Good stuff, and um, I, you know, like I said, uh, out of the decorations, like really check out the uh, the uh, chandelier vessel. It is really cool looking. I really like that one a lot. And let's see. Yep, and then the best view in Swotor contest has returned for this year. Um, so we've had this for the last few years, and they are doing it again, which is cool. There's, they always get some really nice shots. And this year, the theme seems to be uh, daily areas. So in this case, um, so you take screenshots, you send them in, and um, you know, then they choose one. And if you win, um, the, there's some other stuff too. But that, to me, like the really cool thing is that... Um, they'll actually take your screenshot and it becomes a decoration. So you'll get a version of it that's like a little fancier. I think it has gold on it or gold framing or something. And you'll be the only one who has that decoration. 
And then, but there'll be all like a, a more simple version that is becomes available for people to get. So if people really want um, a decoration of their favorite, in this case, daily area, then they'll be able to, then it'll actually be of a screenshot that you took, which is really cool. Um, you'll have to, you'll definitely want to look at the rules because uh, you, you need to make sure your quality is a certain level, that your, uh, that your the in-game UI needs to be turned off, that there's no player characters in the screenshot, although NPCs are allowed. Uh, it can't be in a cinematic, it has to be in the actual game, and you can't do any additional uh, filters or editing through external, external tools, anything like that. There's a few other rules as well, so you definitely want to check, check those rules out before you actually take the shots and send them in. Um, but that is, but that's the general idea. The locations that they are choosing uh, for the uh, event this year is Zyost, and uh, and Jackie did confirm that this can be either the daily area, which is post story, so it's all you know the dusty destruction version of Zyost, or it can be the uh, story version of Zyost. So you, it's like pre destruction and it has like sort of a very uh, just sort of uh, typical imperial sort of feel to it. Uh, CZ198 is the second one, then Section X on Belsavis, um, in Busa District, which is, uh, I think it's the newest one still for the daily areas, uh, and Black Hole as well. So Black Hole, that one's the one on Corellia. So lots of, uh, lots of daily areas, that seems to be the theme this year. And yeah, lots of really cool stuff there. And I think, let me see if I, I can find the, um, let's see, da, 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 da. you have to put in an email, email subject line has to follow a certain format. Again, you'll want to go to the swotor.com and actually you know, make sure you're following all the rules and they will announce it. Um, Let's see. They'll publish an article announcing the winners before the upcoming 2024 anniversary event. The game came out in December, so it'll be sometime around then. Uh, let's see it. So you get a gilded version of the screenshot you submitted as a deco, and everyone else can get like a more normal version. Uh, a sort of it looks like it looks like a screenshot, but with like a frame around it, which is cool. And da, 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 da. there's some other rules too. So look, anyway, looking forward to seeing that. There's really good, um, people do a really good job with these. Uh, let's see, is there any, uh, Retox is asking, is there any news of a new expansion or content? Um, as far as an expansion goes, no content. We know that they're always working on the next bit of story. So y yes, uh, but recently like, I'm not sure what to tell you. Like, we know that there's some stuff coming up, but uh, we haven't heard anything too recently as to uh, extra new, extra information on that. Um, all right, and broadsword uh, com slash info slash news will uh, also broadsword will put a, an article out on that as well. And all right, so 7.5.1c arrived on the first of October, so that was since the last show. And there were a few Galactic Season 7 fixes in this patch. Um, fixed an issue that caused Pre to the Butcher boss fight to reset. So it's good that they got that one done. Um, making sure that the Master Achievement would be completed when you did cer certain uh, planets would not give you uh, progress towards the Season 7 objective Master Achievement for the uh, Bounty Contract. So that is now fixed as well. The Furious Brinjak mount has been added to the weekly inventory rotation and will be available on weeks B and D. And I think I saw someone announce like that as, as of a couple days ago that it is now on the vendor. So I didn't actually personally check that, but it seems to be the case. Uh, the armored Brinjak mount will be available in Kiat Kthavo's inventory. Um, for players who have a free or preferred account, and subscribers can purchase when the season is over if they do not ob obtain it from the reward track. So that's how that works. Okay. Uh, let's see. A couple of other changes. In-game reward mail. Well, actually, this is from uh, a slightly earlier version. But yeah, in-game re in reward mail will no longer contain multiple items. That's interesting because, like, I'm not sure. Uh, your reward here in-game mails will now contain the correct items. And let's see, da, 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 we know about that one. 
there was a um, sort of a login issue. It was a few days ago, about a week ago, October 1st again. So this is right after they dropped the last one. So some players ran into a login service currently unavailable error message. Um, we found that there was an increase in malicious traffic hitting our login servers. And so in response, we've added additional security to these endpoints. So if you see that, if, if you're having uh, difficulty connecting to the game after several lo uh, login attempts, then, in, then please wait at least five minutes before logging in again. And if you're using a VPN, uh, wait at least five minutes or disable the VPN before attempting to log into the game again. So apparently like the additional security they needed to add was sort of um, causing some people to actually have, a, have troubles, especially if using a VPN to actually uh, get, get into the game normally. And let's see, da, da, da. and they did some backend maintenance for the support tools. So that's sort of a, just an internal thing for them to be able to, uh, you know, pull the levers behind the scenes and stuff like that. Uh, it should not uh, impact lagging into the game. And also the Mac launcher test uh, form is now closed. So we talked about this on the last show. They're adding a Mac version of the game. So it's the same game and using the same servers, which is really cool because it'd be difficult to sort of start the game you know, fresh with like all players, but only from the Mac uh, you know, community. So this is the actual regular live servers just playing on a Mac. And the test form was open. Uh, and it is already now closed, so it, they are going to be reaching out to players with further instructions uh, within a week. So if you ha if you did sign up for that, look at look for that within the next week. Very ex interesting to see how that that will happen. Uh, let's see. There's a few uh, seven point five point one known issues, some of which we we knew about last episodes. We I don't need to talk about some of these. Um, they have, you know, there's some uh, Basilisk prototype venture issues and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so Feast of Prosperity event. Um, in the sharing our bounty, choosing to defeat the Nova Bay pirates on Rishi will not allow the mission to progress. So the workaround is that if this option is chosen initially, you can reset the mission and instead choose to, to steal the wine instead. And this option will then allow the mission to progress as intended. So right now it's just a workaround. And if you so if you see that option of you, between cho uh, choosing to defeat the Nova Blade Pirates or choosing to steal the wine, choose to steal the wine. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. And then we were, I think we already knew about the vet state night. There's some uh, models uh, not moving their mouth when they're speaking. We already knew about that one. And uh, a known issue list, Galactic Season 7 objective, Ancient Enemies Returned to... This is one of the light and dark side bosses, the old light and dark side bosses. Currently cannot be completed due to a defender Galata not spawning in their intended location on Hoth. Uh, Keeper Anaya sp spawns instead, and they're looking at deploying a fix. Let's see. Um, um, let's see. I'm not sure. How, but, um, let's see. And then apparently that's, as far as I can tell, that one's still an issue. Um, but then let's see. And that was that. There we go. Um, one other thing, the sort of a, a plug, shout out, and credit. This is going to be a very short episode. Uh, Intasar is hosting a raffle and the idea of finding Swotor pets to draw. So, uh, and he has a couple of examples of pets that he's drawn, which is really cool. And you can get an Opal Voltilla pet or 450 cartel coins. And there is a link, um, and it's in the show notes. Uh, but you can you can go to um, if you go, uh, probably one of the easier ways would be to look up uh, into SAR. If, you, if you're just hearing this and you need to find this, probably the easiest way would be to like uh, go to Intasar on um, like Twitter X and then look for his uh, post on this. Um, but if you know his, he, he posts on generic hero.com slash this week in Orabesh. And uh, then there's a, a link for that. I'm going to put one in the, in the Twitch. If, so if you're interested in that and yeah so basically you you say which pet you'd like to uh, you'd you'd be interested in seeing him do a drawing of because um, he just wants ideas of what, what people are interested in and then 
um, you know, and you can actually win a 450 cartel coin or Opal Volatil pet. So there you go. And so, yeah, so thank you for, if you're here listening to me, just do this uh, running it solo. We're keeping it short. There, just, there wasn't a ton of news and without uh, Kitty to, you know, hear about his week and bounce ideas off of and so on, it, you know, keeps it a little shorter than usual. Um, so what we're going to do is the, um, I'm going to be doing a little raid here in a minute. We'll do the outro, um, but, but between the outro and, and the raid, I'm going to be giving out some codes. So, but I'll do that, you know, as far as the podcast is goes, I'm going to turn it off. I'm just mentioning it because we'll also do a, a similar thing next episode and then at the 500 episode as well. So thank you for coming, and that's the show. If you'd like to play with us in the Utini Knights Guild on the Republic side of the Satilshan server, or in our Utini Rage Guild on the Empire side, do a slash C join Utini to join the Utini channel. Then let us know you're a fan of the show. You can email questions and comments about the show to utinicast at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter using at utinicast or mastodon at ma- utinicast at mastodon.world. You can find contact details on our website, utinicast.com, which includes how to subscribe using iTunes and the rest. We record the show live by weekly Wednesdays, 4 p.m. Pacific, streaming at twitch.tv slash utinicast. Our theme song is Doomsday by Jean-Paul Zogby. And thank you to the chat room, and we'll see you next show. And do a little clap so I know roughly where it, where it ends there. And yes, so um, instead of actually turning it off or doing a raid, which we'll do in a minute, um, what I'd like to know for from folks is like, who needs, first of all, we have um, Voltilla uh, uh, codes. So the Opal, Opal Voltilla pet codes. We have those. We have the jetpack. Uh, you need a jetpack, Kirk? Okay, I can give you that. Hang on a second here. And let's see. I got to um, do a little link here. Cool. All right. Yeah, the jetpack is the, and what I'll be doing is I'll be whispering it on um, Twitch. It's really the only way I have. Okay. Um, uh, Hang on, it's making me do like a second whatever. (sighs) Okay. Okay, damn it. Let me, okay, let me hang on. I, should, I can probably work this out another way. Um, if I do it from my other, my own account. So I'm going to do it from the uh, Chills Room account. That should work. Hopefully. Ba, 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 ba. How do we do the chat if I'm, okay, hang on a sec. Okay, here we go. Let me see if it'll if it'll let me whisper here. Okay, good. It's letting me do it from that one. So, phew. All right, so I don't have to worry about that. I can make this work without having to figure out what's going on. Okay, that's weird, but okay, whatever. Um, let's see, and then... Professor, Professor Professor Darth Yoda. We'll do that one next. One sec. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Doink. Doink. That should. Yep. All right. And hey, Al Bundy, do you think Swotor should drop the $15 my month berry to bring in new players? Um, I don't know. Yeah, if, um, I mean, there are new flashpoints and operations. They don't come at the same rate they used to, but yeah. I don't know. Making it fully free to play, they could do that. Clearly, they f- they seem to feel that they're doing better this way because, I mean, if they wanted to go fully free-to-play, they could do that, and they could have done that anywhere along the line, really, ever since, you know, when they first uh, changed it from purely subscription to 
uh, subscription plus free to play, you know, like one year after it dropped, basically. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hi, Suburban Wombat. And uh, Al, if anyone, who, who wants like a code here? Because I've got, uh, I do have some more, um, I have some more Voltilla codes. I have the Jetpack codes. I have 450 CC codes. I even have, thir I should have some 30 day codes. If someone really wants a, a sub code, I can do that too. I don't have as many of those, but I should have enough to give some out. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's fine, Darth Dirty Socks, that's fine. And let's see. Um, is any, does anyone else want a code? Because I mean, I'm happy to, I'm happy to take another minute or two and here and give the codes out. So just, uh, just type into chat what you'd like. So if there's um, the Opal, Opal Voltilla, there's the Mandalorian Jetpack. Uh, let's see what else. Do I have the other one, the the old the Opal Voltilla mount? I think I have the Vol Vol Voltilla mount too. Mm, where is it? Yeah, I have the Voltilla mount too. Okay, great. There's another one. Okay. All right. One second, Kirkadoodle. Hang on a sec. Um, let me find the jetpack. All right. All right. Let me try. Uh, let me give another one to Kirkadoodle here for a sec. Boop. Boop. All right. Try that one, Kirkadoodle. Usually these, that's not an issue, but it's possible that we um, somehow uh, didn't update our codes properly. All right, here we go. Uh, um, Asar Ludu, can you, um, un it says he has turned on block whispers from strangers. So you need to start a conversation with Chill's room if you could. Great, that worked, excellent. And Al Bundy, you're okay too? Okay. So Asar, Asar Ludu, if you can um, start an, an, a conversation. Let me see if it'll let me do this one. Yeah, and no, it's still not letting me do it from the Utini channel from, for whatever reason. So if you can, um, Asar. Da, 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 da. That's not okay. Let's see. And and believe me, I totally get that you you know not doing the block block whispers from strangers because it gets annoying. But I don't have another way to send this to you. Um. Let's see. And Wombat, if you wanted a code, do you want a code too? I mean, I can, you know, if you don't want any of the other codes, I've, I can just give you 450 CCs. That works too. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay, great. I'll try it again here. All right. Sweet. There you go. All right. That sounds good. And let me make sure this is updated. Yes. Because if that, hopefully, yeah, great. And let's see. And Erica, yes. Let me just get that one to here. Whoop. There we go. We got Erica here. Where did Erica's go? Um, shoot. Why is it not showing on my other one here? Where is it? Uh, okay. Why is it not showing on my on my little chat thing here? Why is it not showing on my? Let's see. There it is. Okay, good. All right. Excellent. Let me kill that. Make sure that one gets marked as being done as used as well. Excellent. All right. Yeah, no worries. 
Our pleasure, Professor Darthiota. So, um, and so I kept it kind of on the QT this time. I wanted to make sure that just folks who are just you know here naturally make sure they get the codes that they wanted and stuff like that. We'll we'll do a little bit more uh, advertising, you know, but we're going to do basically the same same thing next time. Uh, you know, jet the jetpack code. We have more of those. We have some of the Opal Voltilla stuff. Um, we've got 450 CC codes. I believe I. I didn't see them, but I'm pretty sure we have some 30-day subcodes as well. If you want a 30-day code, actually, go ahead and shout it out right now. If you want a 30-day subcode, I'll look for them and see if I can find one here. And we have 450 CC codes. So even if you just want a 450 CC code, just let me know. We'll do the same thing after the next show, and then we'll do um, more giveaways on the 500 episode as well. And we got some other stuff uh, that we've also got planned uh, for that, or working on planning for that. So thank you for coming, and let's do a little Raiderino here. Um, and yeah, if you have any, if you want any other codes, I would say just you know whisper me. Uh, not so much the Utini cast because for some reason it's making me do some sort of coat thing that I can't do right now. But if you let Chills Room know, I can, you know, hook you up that way too. <laughs> All right, so let's see who we can go and uh, do a raid on. Let's see. Go to the stream manager to do this. And it looks like... Um, Magic and Comic are doing SWOTOR, it looks like. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, so we'll start the raid now. Thank you for coming. And, yeah, have fun with the jetpack. It's a, it's a really nice uh, mount. It really is. Um, and it's one of those that the, the, if you change the color on your color crystal, it'll change the color of the, of the exhaust in the jetpack. It's really cool. Here we go. All right, and because of that, Slug. I'm going to stop the stream, stop <laughs> oh the recording. God.